you're looking for a great USB microphone, then this is the K658 RGB dynamic microphone from FiFine and is their most premium microphone so far. It's been out in the US for a few months now and it's finally available to purchase in the UK. And FiFine have sent this over to me to test and review, so thanks to them for that. And let's go over to the unboxing so I can show you all the goodies that you get inside this box. So this is the FiFine K658 microphone for recording, streaming, podcasting and gaming. It's actually nice that we've got the colourful packaging instead of the old brown packaging. So let's open it up. You've got quite a substantial user's manual compared to the previous Fifine mics, but this one does do other things which I'll show you later. I'll leave the microphone until last. You've got the shock mount made out of the same hardened plastic that you usually get with other Fifine mics. This one's slightly bigger to cater for the bigger microphone though. And it also comes with a locking knob for you to select your ideal orientation on your boom arm or stand. This shock mount comes with a useful sticker saying this side up. I've seen loads of mic reviews in the past where the reviewers criticised the mic and shock mount purely because the mic was positioned wrongly in the shock mount. So there's some useful advice. This side up. Next is the metal screw ring that secures the microphone to the shock mount. A Fifine branded USB-A to USB-C cable which is just over 8 foot in length and actually wider than the width of this room. I know it's just a cable but I've always liked the premium feel of the cable that Fifine provide with their microphones. A 5 8 male to 3 8 inch female adapter which fits inside the shock mount to allow you to connect it to a wide range of boom arms and stands. Quite a weighty metal tripod stand which is recommended only to be used for temporary and simple on the go use of the microphone, but the shock mount easily screws onto the stand. Finally onto the microphone itself, made out of the familiar high finished black metal that you get accustomed to with Fifi mics, like on the T669 mic here. As you can see, compared to the 658 it's substantially smaller, so if you're looking to upgrade from something like this, then this is the size difference between the two. With the K658, it's Fifine's first step into a more premium, less budget market. But does their additions to this microphone separate them from the rest of the range? This is Fifine's first big microphone that comes with a foam pop filter attached, which I much prefer compared to the metal grill that you do get on other microphones, where you would still have to purchase an additional foam pop filter just to go over the top if you prefer the way it sounds with one on. Instead of a small dial at the front, you've now got a larger gain dial and a very sensitive touch to mute button at the centre of the dial. You can get so close to the mute button for it to engage without you actually touching it. The ring around the mute button will go red when it's muted and green when it's unmuted. Simple as that. Bottom of the microphone, you've got the 3.5mm headphone port for useful low latency monitoring of your audio and the USB-C port, which when the supplied USB cable is plugged in, does move around a little, but not enough to detach itself though. Before I show you the touch sensitive button on the back and then the RGB credentials of this microphone, I'm quickly going to plug it in. Now you can see the rainbow wave of the RGB colours emitting from the microphone in that sweeping pattern. Unfortunately you're unable to change the light patterns, but if there's a scenario where you don't want to have those lights on, then one tap of the recess touch sensitive button on the back of the microphone quickly turns those lights off, and with another tap, turns them back on again. With the way the microphone sits on the shot mount, there is a gap between where the RGB lights come out and the surface of the shot mount, which means that the lights are actually reflected by the shot mount surface, giving you and your viewers, if you're making visual content with the microphone in shot, that added visual eye-catching experience and the effect on the mount, other than just seeing that black shot mount. This microphone has a cardioid or unidirectional polar pattern, which means that it will only set input audio from one direction only and it will generally reject sound from all other directions, which for this is directly into the forward facing part of the microphone. It's recommended that speaking into the microphone slightly off straight at around 30 degrees and five inches away from your subject will provide the best sound quality. I'll show you how well the microphone is at rejecting sounds from its sides. With the gain set at its lowest point, I'll play some music from my phone, starting at the top of the microphone, which picks it up quite nicely. Then by moving the phone away and down the side of the microphone, you can see from the audio mixer that no audio input is being detected by the microphone, which means that you should be able to enjoy recording your audio without having to worry about background noises interfering with your production. But don't forget, you've still got the option of plugging your headphones into the bottom of the microphone and monitoring those audio levels yourself. So I've got the microphone right in front of me. We'll also test the mute control, which when pressed, 
completely reduces the audio input quickly to zero. Obviously useful if you're midstream and need that quick cut of audio without having to do it via software. I'm not a complete audio file, so I'll put up the technical details like the sample rate, the frequency response, sensitivity, and others right there. With the K658 being USB powered, it's simply plug and play into any PC, Mac, PlayStation 4 and 5, and with the appropriate USB adapters, most Android devices, iPhones, and iPads. Sound-wise, I've recorded this whole video on my last video with the K658 microphone raw and unedited. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the sound quality. This K658 is a bold move from Fifine as the microphone is currently their most expensive mic at £110 on Amazon or $120 on the Fifine website. I'll leave links to those in the description below. This microphone certainly impresses me with its vibrant look that separates itself from its more budget friendly siblings like the T669, going for that more streamlined and premium look similar to what you get with brands like Shure and Blue. And with that RGB lighting and touch sensitive buttons and dials, modernise this microphone and certainly make it more streamer and content creator friendly, while at the same time retaining that high quality sound you become accustomed with this and other Fifine microphones. This microphone certainly demonstrates the best of Fifi and being the all-rounder that is able to produce high quality audio for you whether you're just recording, streaming, making podcasts or gaming. If you enjoyed this video check out one of my other videos on the siblings of this microphone from Fifi and please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!